and the desire to answer the calling of the soldier elite. Aye, 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 aye. Becoming a United States Green Beret, a.k.a. Special Forces. Let's see what the United States Army says it takes to become a Green Beret. And let me know down below in the comments what you guys think is better. Green Beret, Special Forces, or a Navy SEAL? Let me know down below in the comments. Let's go ahead and send it. What you got for me, bro? I'm rolling up the sleeves. There are risks and costs to action, but they are far from less than the long-range risks. Comfortable in action. Nice quote by John F. Kennedy. Get that's uh, not how it exactly ends, but it's a nice quote. I wrote it myself. Our world is becoming increasingly dangerous as traditional governments are failing and oppressive regimes take God, place. God, bro. Look at this war-torn city. It would suck donkey <laughs> and ass to live here. We mad lucky. Dangerous as traditional governments are Water failing Water leaking, bro. Your water bill about to be high. Sh better get it fixed. Turmoil. Today's warfighter must continue to adapt to unfamiliar environments fighter. and technological advancements used by our adversaries in ungoverned areas. This got Hurricane Ian right here, bro. This is Florida right f***ing now. Someone get assistance. Call the Green Berets. Oh. Each Special Forces soldier possesses unique skills and qualifications oh. to maintain a continuous presence. Ain't nobody shooting like this, bro. Exposed as f***. Not gonna happen, Buckarooski. Since overseas, making them the force of choice for Dropping the Zodi out the back. A great attribute that Special Forces has is we don't strive for the minimum. We strive for the maximum. Yes! We don't strive here. We strive like here, bro. This right here, that sh This regular army sh Then there's this sh We're right here with this sh bro. Special Forces, let's go, bro. Green Berets are individually selected and specially trained through the uh, Army's bro. most Bro, can you imagine going program. under the barbed wire just cutting the, the first step out of your head? to embark on this journey is to volunteer and then never quit. You must volunteer, even though... Just so some of you guys know, you can't just volunteer and you just go. You have to meet minimum requirements before you can actually get into special forces or even try out for selection. Pull it up really quick. So if you guys go on the Army's website, this is what you'll see. Whoa! $40,000 signing bonus to be in the Army for 20 years? Great f***ing deal. Just kidding. Don't do that shit. Bro, he putting on the... Face paint! As a Green Beret, you're a guerrilla warfare expert and use unconventional tactics to fight terrorists abroad. Bro. So if you guys want to become a Green Beret, aka Special Forces, and you're not currently serving in the Army, you gotta be a US citizen, 20 to 32 years old, meet the Army height and weight standards. Guess what? Just don't be f overweight or obese you'll be fine complete the asvat placement test with a tech score of 110 qualify for airborne school be eligible for a secret security clearance and then join an active or army national guard unit if you're already in and you want to transfer that shit, you got to be 20 to 36 years old you have to be at least a private first class which is an e3 and above no more than 12 to 14 years in service you can't have more than 36 months till you get out of the military after graduation from the queue and then you still have to be eligible for that uh secret security clearance and you have to be able to actually be part of an mos to where you can reclass to special forces oh my god should we take the army career match quiz really quick Oh, we doing this, bro. If you could do any of the following, which would you choose? Work with mechanics? No. Care for health and safety? No. <laughs> Keep the Army's internal operations running smoothly. Work with aircraft and protect from above. Protect and defend the nation in the field. Use advanced technology to gain the advantage. Bro, I'm trying to be in the field, bro. In the gutter, bro. With the team. Pulls up a tank. They're like, do you want to be? A tank? Not a tanker, but a tank. What do you want to specialize in? Firearms and munition, explosive field and artillery, tanks and machinery. Firearms and munition. Which would you like to learn more about? Leadership, mentorship, confidence, camaraderie. Leadership. That's all the questions you had? The first f one is Calvary Scout. What the f bro? Don't nobody want to be that sh then we got Special Forces Weapons Sergeant, Infantry Officer, Indirect Fire, Infantryman, Mortars. Then we got Infantryman Jobs, Civilian Affairs, Special Forces Officer, Infantry. Four related jobs with similar skill set, Electronic Warfare Specialist, Combat Engineer, Air Defense Enhanced Early Warning System Operator, Artillery Mechanic. Wearing the green beret says more about you than you could ever say about yourself. Bro, the first time I seen someone with a special forces like tab, I was at the PX, I think, and I seen it. Oh, no, I was in basic. And I see someone with a special forces tab and I was like, oh, shit. And then he looked my way. I obviously didn't say that out loud. I looked, he looked my way and I was like, <laughs> didn't move a muscle, nothing. Trying to stay like professional as shit. But I was like a private and basic training. So he just looked at me like stupid.
Enlisted volunteers must complete basic combat training, followed by advanced individual training and airborne school. So what they're saying here is that obviously you got to go through basic training, then you got to complete AIT, which is advanced individual training. Then you have to go to airborne school. You got to be like this dude. Whee! Before they can attend the Special Forces Assessment and Selection, or SFAS. RSOF, Special Forces Ranger, Airborne, Assessment, Selection, Death. My advice to someone that would want to oh, go combat to diver school. really have that never quit mentality and actually prepare very, very hard because it is rigorous. I have a handful of soldiers who have gone to SFAS, and I have a handful of soldiers who have passed, and a handful of soldiers that have failed. I know every single time we always took them through, like, appropriate training prior to. It just requires a f ton of running, a f ton of rucking a little bit of weightlifting and we really just hone in on dudes adapt and overcome skills and then like a little bit of swimming a lot of my dudes who did pass were already mentally tough which is one of the main things and like one of the main key things too is they're like just being a team player and not quitting and just staying positive and happy throughout the whole thing and your land nav course, land nav super course. important the q course consists of six phases orientation six phases. small unit tactics Jesus military God. occupational specialty or mos training non-conventional okay. warfare language and military freefall. Free fall. So you still have to go through like SFAS, which is the Special Forces Assessment and Selection. You have to go through that. They have to select you and be like, hey, we f with you tough. You can try and become Special Forces now. And then you're going through this sh right now that they're talking about. Leadership planning and NCOs or enlisted volunteers receive specialty training on weapons, engineering, weapons. medical, engineering. Or communications. These are basically like the different types of special forces positions or like jobs you can have. So, so there's 18 Bravo. Then there's an 18 Delta, which is a medic. Is the 18 Echo communications? 18 Charlie is engineering. That's me just spitballing and guessing. Uh, let me know down below in the comments if you guys do know. But yeah. And if you're an officer, it's different. Work with a guerrilla force oh, in the that, overthrow dude. of a hostile government or occupying power are cornerstones of the training. Bro, look at that, bro. Upon completion Hot. of the Q course. Bro, y'all got donkeys in Special Forces, bro. You get your own personal donkey, bro. <laughs> A soldier will have earned the right to wear the Green Beret. That's pretty dope. New Green Berets are assigned to an operational detachment. ODA is one of the nicknames that you'll hear throughout the military of like different things you call special forces. ODA stands for Operational Detachment Alpha. So this is just how like the different teams and shit are set up and I'm just gonna let them explain the rest. Which is comprised of 12 soldiers, each with a specific skill and duty. Special Forces soldiers are also given ample opportunities for advancement and additional training, which includes Halo, scuba and other advanced training things are always changing in this soft community that we're watching right now and basically when you become a green beret like you have to complete one or the other right but mainly all these dudes are going to be halo qualified or like in our previous video about the combat diver school you guys are going to end up going to combat diver school uh because there's jump teams and then there's like dive teams in group i would consider being sf the professional leagues of the military <sighs> bro have I ever told you guys my first interaction, like actual interaction with special forces? Right out of basic training, right? I got deployed to Afghanistan. We're in Afghanistan <laughs> on a mission. We're rolling with a sniper element from 7222, which is a 7 special forces group, right? But it's a, one of their sniper teams. And we're going up on top of this mountain while another like element is maneuvering onto this village. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what I overheard, but all I heard was a regular army. And I was like, what? And I had my buddy who was a saw gunner in her squad at the time. And these special forces dudes were f***ing kids, bro. Ranger bat level dicks, okay? This dude's like, hey, regular army saw gunner. Do you have any water? Bro, I would. Dude, everybody's jaw was like dropped. We're like, why are they being such Kids. And they were asking for water. They're like, hey, regular army saw gunner, do you have any water? Or like some shit like that, bro. And I was dying laughing on the inside. I'm like, what a fing dickhead. And this face right here just perfectly describes it. I mean, Sav is their own fing frat, bro. Super close networked community. They're all super tight. They know that they're the shit. They're the bee's knees, the donkey's nuts, all of the above, okay? Just the you ain't shit mentality bro i was dying laughing you will work hard train hard and depend oh, on yeah. each other to accomplish the mission regardless of where it may take you train in Throughout the get out of other countries you know our families know each other we go to our kids birthday parties um 
We Super are like close family. network community. Yeah. The need is great for those who can rise to the challenge. We are looking for volunteers who possess courage, integrity, Ooh, perseverance. Oh, bro. Did y'all see that, bro? Y'all see how hot that was? They put the that footage together, dude. Are... He jumped out, bro. And then these dudes came in. They said, boom, dump truck. Uh, they Look at watch, watch, watch. Courage, Booty swing. integrity, uh, get perseverance, in. and the desire to answer the calling of the soldier elite. Oh, bro. Yo, look at this, bro. They just diving at the earth, earth like, ay, 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 ay. no, sir, no, sir. Who's motivated as by this video? Who has seen this and now is like, Maybe I'm just going to become a Green Beret. Maybe I'm going to go Special Forces, bro. Maybe I'm going to get it, son. Yeah, let me know down below in the comments if this motivates you. You guys like this type of video and you guys want me to break down more specific MOSs in the United States Army. Thanks for stopping by.